Rolling with Owen. Hello and welcome to Rolling with Owen. Today we're at the local flat spot and it is super windy. So yeah, but we're just gonna skate flat today and just try and have a good time. And what a fun time it was. Yes, I do really like a flat session, especially where I don't have to worry about anybody being around me. The beautiful thing about a Sunday evening is that there's nobody here and I get the whole space to myself, which is just great. I don't have to compete for space or anything. I can just focus on doing whatever. I wouldn't normally film this sort of thing. I would normally just go out and do this, but I felt like I needed to film something for the old YouTubes. So there, that's that work ethic for you. Remember to like and subscribe because I do this like pretty much every other day and I don't intend to stop anytime soon. So if you didn't catch that, I was just saying that my fake Yolly seemed to hit the ground too fast. I feel like I struggled to bring them up into the air, but my switch ones are pretty floaty, so I'm practicing both. But yeah, my fake Yollies don't feel very floaty. My switch ones do, but my fakey ones just don't work the way I want them to, so I need to like intentionally practice them some more, because I very rarely find myself in fakey. It's not really something I do. So it's good to just put some intentional practice in, I think. And then we moved on to the switch shove. And the reason for the switch shove is because like, I find it really awkward, but it's actually not that hard. But I used to find it so scary, like the scariest thing ever. But now the new scariest thing is switch backside 180. <laughs> Kind of funny how the car noise in the background there kind of sounded like my engine when I was running past. But yeah, I made it and was like, yeah, the, 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 eh, whatever. And then I just moved on because at that point I was just like, I don't really care, I just want to land it onto the switch front shoves. And I don't you love when you do a switch front shove or just a switch trick and you end up turning to your regular stance because you so desperately want to be going normal stance. It's hilarious. But uh, I was quite proud of some of these actually, I thought they were pretty good I and mean, definitely better than my regular ones seemed to be, so yeah, I mean I did a couple and I was quite happy with them. Even though looking back at it now it's not great, it felt cleaner than it usually is with me skating switch, I, it's not really, I mean I try and do it as much as I can, but I don't know, it's just cool when switch seems to just work, it's weird because it's switch and it feels like it will never work, but that one felt great. Onto the switch heel flip. So yeah, the switch heel flip, if you don't know, is actually a pretty comfortable trick for me. Um, I do this quite a lot. Uh, it's actually my first like real switch trick. Uh, I could switch heel before I could do switch front shoves and back shoves, and for some reason it was just like easier to just go up instead of having to think of the direction I was sending the board. And like, I learned nollie heels before switch heels because whenever I would nollie, I would accidentally kick the board behind me and it started flipping the board. So I thought I might as well just kick extra hard, right? And somehow landed a nollie heel flip. And I was like, wow, I can't even nollie. So skateboarding is interesting like that. Yeah, I was quite happy here because I did two switch heels in a row, even if I did have to desperately turn around. Then moved on to the nollie and I was a bit, you know, I think tricks that I'm better at, I have less of a patience for, but there we go, we got one. Okay, that's the switch down. Uh, I'm just going to do a regular kickflip, and it's probably going to take me ages, but whatever. <laughs> be putting off the regular kickflip, because like, it just makes me angry. Yeah, this is true. So for some reason, ever since I got these slappy trucks, my kickflip doesn't work like it used to. It just doesn't, it, like... Every time I try and find the tension in the board, instead of getting the tension, the board just goes, I'm Slappy Trucks, I'm turned now. But like, yeah, I, I'm like kind of annoyed because it's like, I've been doing so many kick lifts, especially this year. And like the fact that it's now become really hard again, it's just like skateboarding is just so annoying sometimes, man. Swings around a lot, so you gotta keep up with it, right? I just don't get it. You see skaters who are just doing kickflips like they're nothing and then there's me who's like, yeah, I had a period where I could do them without thinking and now every time I try them the skateboard just goes all over the place. I, like, wh what happened? I thought I learned how to do something but apparently not. Also this wind is really annoying. I hate how in this country if it's not pissing it down, it's so windy you can't move. So to finish it off, we're going to do a varial flip but we're going to be going into the wind so who knows how this is going to go. Okay, so this clip is uncut. Genuinely uncut. I literally just left it running and like 
I was here for less than a minute and like I couldn't believe it when I came back to the camera and saw it took me about 52 seconds to land the varial flip I was like oh my god like why is that easier than the kickflip and I know everyone says varial flips are easier than kickflips but for me it was not the case until today I don't know why I only did it once and I was happy with how it went and I was like I don't want to push it anymore because varial flips can end up very painful but yeah here it is like, it didn't even feel like I went up, but like, it went so well. I mean, that was awful, but whatever. <laughs> I'm still guessed. Yeah, it's really weird when your varial flip somehow works out better than your kick flip and faster. Like, there's no way that clip was less than a minute. <laughs> like, what the hell, man? Right, I'm just gonna go and mess around now, and I'm gonna maybe do some 180s and just cruise around the area, because I know that if I film everything I do, then I actually won't have any fun. And plus, like, I'm never gonna get monetized, and if I do get monetized, it's gonna, not gonna be worth it. So, like, I might as well just enjoy myself while I still can, right? So, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye!